great win for us. Uh, we'll take we'll, we'll take it. Uh, offense uh, certainly not pretty for us, but uh, I'm going to dwell on the positives. The positives are we are one hell of a defensive team. And uh, we rebound. I think going into this league, uh, when you're going to Boston and you're going to New York, you're going to Philly, you're going to Baltimore, uh, you're going to face some kids now that uh, uh, play in high-level high school basketball games and tough kids. And, and uh, I, I think that we've laid the foundation for an incre incredible toughness here as we move forward in this conference for the years to come. I mean, we hold them to no th made three-pointers. We hold them to 27 points below their scoring average in conference. We hold their leading score to 16 points when he's averaging 22. We hold their second leading score to six points when he's averaging 21. Now, if you want to ask me about the offense, Willis can answer those questions. And it got tipped. I just ran to it, and I decided I was just going to get a shot up some way, somehow. And that's all I can tell you. Stick the needle into him during the games, usually just to try to egg him on. And uh, he came on um, there for a long time, guys. Um, Boy, oh boy. Anthony Stitt hadn't scored. Willis hadn't scored. Nori hadn't scored. Anthony Thomas really hadn't scored. And, um, you know, Willis, if you notice that the possession before, we went to him in the post. Just because, you know, just, hey, if we're going down, we're going down with Willis. And uh, that's the deal. He's our one all-conference player, um, and uh, just very appropriate for him to, to make that shot. He's the only guy on the team that can make that shot, by the way. He may be the only guy in the country that can make that shot, so great shot. I think a lot of teams play really physical in the CAA, you know. I think that was a big adjustment from the SOCON that our team had to make is bigger, bigger wing players especially. Um, so I think this game was a physical game, but it's nothing out of the ordinary. Obviously, you know, any moment we can get, um, you know, we like to protect our home court. Um, we're glad we did that today. Um, I think, you know, that there's a lot of in this game that we can learn from to get better. And, um, you know, I think we're going to do that. We usually do that as a team. And moving forward, it's nice to, you know, nice to get out of the hole. You know, both times we've played Northeastern, we've had a one-day prep form. That's what's kind of crazy about the league. Um, you know, one-day prep, they got to prep for us. Um, uh, got to worry about ourselves at this point. You talk to other coaches, hey, what are you doing? How long are you going? You know, you got to kind of, you know, I, I think this, and I, and I said this earlier, and I'm just going to say this in front of the guys. I tell you what, people don't realize, you know, you want your players to have fun. And the way college athletics is now, it's not, desi it's not really designed for them to have fun. And, you know, they got schoolwork, they got, you know, they've got this, they've got that. So the bottom line is if you're winning, it's easy, man. Everyone feels great. But when you're, when, when you're struggling and you're trying to find your groove and you're fighting and you're in a new situation every time, man, our guys, man, they've been playing their butts off. And, and, and you know what? I'm just trying to keep it as, as fun as I can for these guys. We've got a lot of young guys, and, and I want him to go out as a winner. I want Noy to go out as a winner. I want AT to go out as a winner. So uh, we're going to get ready. A uh, big part of this is feeling good about ourselves and playing hard, and, and uh, we'll do that Saturday night. Thank God it's not a Saturday afternoon game. Got a little more time.